Welcome to the Battle of the Loops, and we are testing another frequency. We are going to listen to the um, African Pathways radio out of Madagascar, and this is on 11.965 kilohertz. And of course, we want to test the loop in different frequencies. I will be um, maybe if I can't find uh, you know signals like above. 20 some megahertz I might be actually testing it by uh, generating my own signal a weak signal on 27 megahertz with one of my CBs or my talkies and uh, with audio and everything and we could maybe test that with that but for now MLA 30 loop versus W6 LVP loop and it's with African Pathways Radio 11965 kilohertz and here is the test so we start with the MLA 30 loop from China. It's all in our pot, but as a child moves through the air, it picks up electrical charge because of turbulence. This eventually causes lightning. But scientists have found that thunder clouds are only able to generate the necessary speed that is necessary to create a lightning bolt. Without something else, there would be no lightning on Earth. That something else turns out to be cosmic rays. Think of electricity as some um, electrons flowing like water. And while the cloud does not generate enough electrons to cause a flow of lightning, cosmic rays penetrating the storm cloud detach additional electrons from the oxygen and nitrogen in the cloud. These extra electrons are then accelerated in the cloud's electric field, producing small avalanches of electrons. These avalanches grow and combine as they flow to the bottom of the cloud, finally to erect as a storm of lightning. The Bible tells us that Jesus Christ is returning to earth to judge all mankind. When he does this Bible, everyone will know about it because his return will be like a giant bit of lightning, passing the entire sky. And, and now we will switch to the W6 LVP loop. And now we will switch back to the MLA loop. As you know, you may have malaria if you are experiencing one or more of the following symptoms. Shaking chills, high fever, sweating a lot, headache, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, muscle pain, or bloody shit. These symptoms can be mild to severe. If you or your child are troubled by these symptoms, we suggest that you go to a local clinic to determine the cause and receive treatment. But remember, no matter what your health problem may be, you can always be in We are praying that God may help you to overcome disease or any difficulties in your life. Please keep the word of God in your heart for it gives you life and rest to the year. This is a public service announcement from Lexington University in Nashville, Tennessee, in the United States of America. What 
does the word indispensable mean to you? Indispensable. Indispensable means you absolutely and positively can't live without. When you think about it, you're on the side that we say are indispensable for you. Oh, you have your favorite food. You may have a good bed that just fits your back. You may cheer for one for the sports team. But you know, and I know, that life could go on. Even if you suddenly didn't and now we are going back to the W6 LVP loop. Wrote a song in which she captured just how indispensable Jesus Christ was to him. He titled it "Without Him." Listen, as Wrote sings, "Without Him." Without So, what do you guys think? Um, I think there was a winner here, and uh, what? And what winner was it? The MLA thirty or the W six LVP? So this was with eleven nine six five kilohertz. This was African Pathways Radio, and this is the uh, station broadcasting out of the Madagascar relay station. Incredible, but this is like thirteen thousand plus kilometers from Montreal. Just amazing when you think about it. So, your comments. Is there a winner in here? Is one station or one antenna uh, better than the other on this frequency of 11965? Let me know. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.